Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here again. And a few weeks ago, I created a round basket using some of the vines that I had in my backyard. I was just doing some regular cleanup on the weekend, trying to reclaim parts of my yard from all these weeds. And this weekend, I was cleaning up a little bit more. Um, this week, however, instead of focusing on something that's easy like vines, uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a challenge here. I've never done this before. So I've got some, I wanna make this basket entirely out of invasive species and trash. So I've got some trash that I pulled off of my house because I took a satellite dish off. So I've got some coax cable here. Um, I've also got some privet, and I'm gonna try and use privet uh, to create the structure for this basket. And I've also got some bamboo, and I'm gonna use some of the stalks of the bamboo for some of the weaving. Um, so let's try this out. So step one, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up uh, all the different privet and vines and um, getting the materials ready. All right, let's get started. To do the cleanup, I'm just gonna use my regular clippers uh, that I use for pruning my bushes. And um, we've got the stalks here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the leaves off the bamboo, but leave as much mass intact as possible. This will speed up the weaving on the, the bottom of the basket. And we're gonna try this out and see how it works. So to create the structure of the basket, I'm gonna use this privet. It's pretty flexible and I'm gonna weave, all this was cut maybe an hour ago, so I'm weaving green. I don't have to soak any of this and it's still flexible enough to make a basket. Or at least we hope it is. If this is a complete fail, it'll end up in the compost bin. All right, so I don't need this top part. I'm gonna make a small basket, maybe six to eight inches, maybe a little bit wider, but definitely not anything too wide because this is more of an experiment. And then if it works, I can use thicker materials next time I make a larger basket. So we're gonna need five of these, and then we're gonna cut one of them a little bit short to make five and a half total. So when you're trying to design your round basket, there's two consider considerations you need to have. One is the width of the basket, and second is the height. So we've got these pieces right here, which are going to be the spines. So in order to know how um, long to make these, we're going to design the basket real quick. So I'll say if this is like a nine inch basket, it's about nine inches right there, and we're gonna make it six inches tall. We've got nine, six, and six. And then I want a little bit extra on the top just so we have some to work with to finish off the basket. So I'm just gonna add another six inches to each of these. So we have six plus six plus six plus six is 24 plus nine is 33. I'm gonna go and make this three feet um, long just so we have an, a little bit extra to play with in case we miss that nine inch mark and end up making it 10 inches. Seems way too convenient but this is about 36 inches so I'm just going to use that as my measuring stick. Again this doesn't have to be exact we're not doing fine woodworking this is a rustic basket made out of weeds. And I'm going to use I'm going from the thick end to the thin end I might be able to use that as our half piece if this other one doesn't work out. And ideally, ideally we, all, we want all of these to be the same thickness, the same caliper. Um, however, as, as long as they're within an eighth of an inch, you're probably fine. 
For more fine baskets, you want them to be um, almost exact. If you're making a reed basket or something like that. All right, I think this one's a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna go with this one right here. So we, we mentioned that we need five, and we need half a spine as well. And I'm gonna draw this on the dry erase board to show you what we're talking about. All right, so we've got our spines made out of privet, and we have five and a half spines. I'm gonna show you how to lay these out. Basically, you're gonna need three spines going in one direction, Two of the long ones going in the opposite direction. So these are going to cross over. And you're going to take that one that's slightly larger than a half. Start it here. And um, that way we've got an odd number of spines. As we're weaving around, when you go, when you when you have one full revolution, the next one, if you don't have an odd number of spines, if with this over-under pattern, it's going to be over, 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 over. By adding this odd number, the next time you go around, you're gonna be able to alternate over and under as you go outwards. All right, now that we have this together, we need to find one of these bamboo shoots. I'm gonna pull some of the leaves off, just because we just want more of the thick parts. And usually I use something that's long and is not this ragged. Um, I'm gonna start with the thin end first. And the goal right here is just to tie all these pieces together. Now, since these are coming out it's going to be a little bit more difficult to, to weave with so I'm going to try and twist these a little bit first to get them to hold in place so I'm going to go over under these three over these three and keep on going around like that until this piece is done So the next step, now that we have all of these in place, is to make sure that all the spines are even. So we click quickly just look at these, and it looks like that's pretty close. We even them out, that way when we get to the end of the basket, we're not gonna have any issues. If you watched our other basket video, this is very, very similar. It's just gonna get a little bit different towards the end because we're gonna be using some different materials and also splitting some materials uh, to make them easier to work with. We didn't have to do that in the last basket. All right, take another one of our green shoots, clean some of the leaves off, and that's good enough. We're gonna start with the over-under pattern.
Now that we have the bottom finished with the bamboo, and as you can see, it took quite a few pieces because they weren't really long. Um, I don't want to use the bamboo to go up the sides immediately because it's not really thick enough to hold the spines in place. So the first thing I want to do is kind of snap the spines. Um, I tried using the clippers to cut a little bit to see if that would help, but I really found that just like bending them up and snapping them was, was the best, best method. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for all of them before I start weaving with the next piece. Now the next piece is not a vine, and you're going to see what it is here in a second after I snap all of these in place. Um, I chose a unique material, and again, all this is either materials that I was going to put in the compost pile, or these are things that I was um, had ready to take to the dump or recycle. So the, the next piece, and you guys saw me preparing it earlier, I'm going to use coax cable. Now this coax cable uh, is going to be a nice addition. It's a nice contrast to the green. So I've got a black coax cable and it's going to take me several times going around for it to hold in place. I need about three or four rounds of this and then it will finally hold the spines in its upper position. Now the thing with this particular coax, I only had pieces that were like four or five feet long tops. Uh, if you have a longer piece from just like old cables or old old cords, uh, probably be much easier to work with. Now, once I was done with the coax cable, I decided to grab some more of the bamboo because I wanted to go green, black, green, uh, just for a little bit of contrast here. And the things these these pieces were only like three to four feet long, so. Now that I've got to the sides of the basket, I'll probably get a maximum of one revolution per piece. Um, to add a little bit more contrast, again, there's a lot of green, a lot of black, I wanted to add some white. So what I did is I took some of the privet and split the privet in half. Now this wasn't an easy task, I used my pocket knife a little bit, gave up on that and just decided to try to split it the best I could using the clippers and if it didn't quite work out, I started on a new piece. Um, this was probably in retrospect, I mean, I, I liked the concept, um, but I probably should have found some pieces that were a little bit longer to split because this was a little bit difficult to weave with. Uh, it cracked quite a bit, but when you put some of the final touches on the basket, it's, it's all going to work out. Right now it looks kind of rough, but it does actually end up working out in the end. Um, now the last final step, I, I, I wanted to give a different texture to it. So I took the bamboo pieces with all the leaves on it, wove it all the way around, and then tucked some of the spines in. Looks kind of like a bird's nest right now. And again, we're going to clean it all up in the very end, any, any of the loose pieces. But first, I want to add a handle. So I got a piece of um, vine from outside. I tried a piece of privet at first, and when I bent it, and I tried several other different uh, pieces of hardwood, um, they snapped in place. So um, I didn't really cheat. This isn't exactly trash, but this was a leftover piece of vine that I had from another basket that I made. I put that in place, then I used a smaller piece to hold the handle in. So I tucked the, the, the handle all the way in, and I used a small piece to weave it in to the sides. Now with the small piece, I also went around the top and held some of the spines down because they were sticking up. Uh, again, this is a privet. Uh, the privet is not going to, um, I guess, bend very easily so what I did here is use that 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 one wild grapevine to tie it all together just a little bit of cleanup and then we've got the final product overall I was pretty pleased with the turnout of the basket um, I was honestly I was expecting much worse and I was really worried that it wasn't going to turn out at all and was going to make it back into the compost pile so um, this is my son he was asking for a new Easter basket it's a little bit early but he enjoyed it if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.